Hello, I'm Jeff Brown, and this is Music on the Rocks. Since March of 2020, this has been my means to share with you my music, my whiskey, my free time, a little bit of all those things. So what I've been doing is once every week on Wednesdays, I have been releasing an episode where I sample a little bit of my whiskey, I play one of my songs, or a song that I love by someone I admire, or just something that's been rattling around in my head that wants to get out. We have a little toast, and we go on our ways, and everyone has hopefully a wonderful rest of the week. So this week, I'm going to play a song by my band. Back in Chicago, I had a delightful band of merrymakers, and we called ourselves Jeff Brown and the New Black. So one year for my birthday, our drummer, Mr. Mark Lester, bought me a bottle of Jim Beam double-aged black whiskey. He said, it's got your name on it. It's, it's got the black. And I thought, yeah, but it's also got Jim Beam's name. And you can call it what you will. I call it fairly confident in my life choices and my tastes. And I thought to myself, mm, I have had Jim Beam before. Jim Beam is not really my favorite. But I am going to try this, see what it's like. And I've got a little bottle here to sample a little later after the song, primarily because the bottle that he gave me got very finished and is now used to water my plants. Fear not, my plants drink water. Otherwise it would be a tremendous waste of both my plants and whiskey. But in light of the Jim Beam double-aged black, I will be playing a song primarily performed by Jeff Brown and the New Black. And this is a song about my favorite sociopathic pyromaniac. This is a song called Nero. your turn Cause I'm on the roof with the wind in my hair with a smile and a fatal as I watch this city burn Well it just keeps getting harder and started to perspire cause all the paper tigers had their ashes lit in fire so we'll take a bottle of frying pan and a cinnamon to the fire and you know that you can trust me cause I promise I'm a liar and if you want to take a shot just wait your turn Starter. I am 
follow me, I'll teach you all that you can learn. And there's no one that'll stop us when we're ready to return. But just don't ask about the past, cause it's none of your concern. And the future's looking brighter while we watch this city burn. And if you wanna take a shot, just wait your turn. Watch this city burn There's lots of little needly, needly, needlies and, you know, big drums and bass and, you know, but my friends and my bandmates still can't travel all the way out here just to, just to, to hang out with me and play some more music, which is really quite tragic because uh, that would be a lot of fun. We should, uh, we should do that again soon or rather than later. But that is not the point. The point is that was a song on um, Music on the Rocks by my band, Jeff Brown and the New Black. <clears throat> Repping the Newcastle wear that uh, a dear friend of mine found for me at a yard sale. It's just, Brown's a New Black. And I thought that it's perfect. So here we go. Shout out to Michael Teach, Grand Poobah of Chicago Music. I hope you're well, sir. But that was Nero by Jeff Brown and the New Black, and today we will be sampling the Jim Beam double-aged New Black. It's not really a New Black, but so people people will call it what they will. Many people will call it being a snob, uh, but Jim Beam has never been my favorite. It has been a while since I've had regular Jim Beam. I should probably do that at some point, you know, for all of you lovely folk. But uh, Jim Beam always came across it. I always remember it as being a little harsh. <clears throat> so uh, when this came across my table, I thought, it's Jim Beam. You get those immediate first impressions of this is gonna feel like my mouth is on fire. And then I had a sip. And I was wrong. So my friends, from me and the new black to you, be well, be safe. I hope you're having a very happy October. And cheers, my friends. Hmm. See, right away, this just smells so sugary. And it's, it's, mm. This is going to be nice. And there you have it. This is... This is... Bewilderingly smooth. So they, they call it the, the extra aged, which I believe, having read about it a little bit, I think it's ra aged for eight years instead of four. I could be wrong. But uh, either way, whatever they do for that extra aging, mellows it the hell out. This is delicious. I, uh, I'm probably going to go get another larger bottle at some point. Because reasons. But until then, with the new black with the double-aged black. My name is Jeff Brown. Thank you for listening, and I will see you next Wednesday.